Oh gosh. It's all right, Jody. I know, I know what this feels like. Oh, don't forget your present. What? Wait, what is that? It's a book of poetry by Poe. What? It's 50 years old and very rare. I'm sure she'll like it. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> of uh, of course, Willem Dafoe would be like, oh, it's it's a it's a book of poetry by Edgar Allan Poe for a teenage girl. I'm sure she'll love it as a birthday present. <laughs> of course, he knows nothing about teenage girls. Clearly. Don't worry. It's gonna be all right. Uh huh. Famous up. last words. Have fun. It's gonna be all right. Uh huh. Sure. There's an option to ditch this early. I think Jody and I should take it. It's like let's just go. We'll just drop in, drop off the present, and just leave. If that option is available, I'm gonna try and do it. Cause uh, I can already tell this is not gonna go well. Hey, Jody, come in. Hi. Hey, Kirsten, you come in? I gotta go. Come in, Jody. Don't be shy. Hey, Jody, right? Come on, we're in the living room. Some girls from my school in the least dorky guys we could find. Was it a oh, present for gosh. me? Oh gosh. Cool. Thanks. Did she really just say the least I'm off, dorky darling. guys Look you could find? And don't do anything stupid. All right. Sure, Mom, whatever you say. Oh, gosh. Finally, she gets the hint. I can already tell Everyone, how this is. This is Jody. She's what these people unit are like. four with Mom. Unit four? The paranormal department? Ooh, what you do there? Bend spoons or speak to dead people? Stuff no. like that? No. They Party already time. think she's I'll some kind of beer. freak. Guys, do the shutters. Girls, oh, and candles, now and they immediately want to get the beer. Music. Let's get crazy! If I'm Jody, I'm like, why am I here? <laughs> this, I feel so out of place here. This feels like a place that Jody should not be. Whatever. Uh, rock. What kind of garbage is that? <laughs> Whatever. Look at all the things in this country. Something really popping. No respect for the classics. You know what? That's it. Heading for the door. Hid it under my bed for a week. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. She doesn't even go into my room anymore. She's totally. I forgot great. about this. Scripted Kristen events. You have to let these scripted events happen before you can possibly have that option. Um, no. No, thanks. I, I, I don't. I'm drink. certain no one, none of them here are old enough. You know what you're to be missing, drinking that. girl. After three or four beers, you'll see the world in a whole new light. I see it just fine, thank you. That's my own personal response. <laughs> Come on, Joey. Let's go. I know what you're thinking. You're wondering why we're here. Yes, I am. I'm thinking the same thing. Jody, can we go? Told me. I wanted to see what it would be like to go out and, and have friends. This and is you can not what I expected. Yeah, you can see it's a little overrated, Jody. It's not gonna let me use the door. It's not gonna let me leave. Urgh! Oh my goodness. I guess I have to stay then. Fine. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> we'll just sit here and we'll just kind of Wait till five o'clock comes around. Oh, wait. Is 
that a college football game on? Oh, hi. Oh, great. Then again, props hey. for this guy for kind of hi, like... I'm Matt. Jody, right? Well, he's probably one of those like, Hey, what's up? I've never seen you at school before. You don't take classes on bass? Ah, uh, small talk. Ah, uh, be sociable. I'm in a different program. With, with my own teacher. It's, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I, I, I never get to see people my age. So you work with Kirsten's mother? Yeah. We work in the, in the same lab. She thought it would be a good idea for me to come and spend time with people my age, so... She probably never gets uh, to tell me anyone about this. I used to live in, in London before I moved here two years ago. And you? Where did you live before? Of course he says that, because they think that saying, Oh, I'm from London is like on, a huge turn-on for all for women. I, I've always lived there. I was born there. Do you have any hobbies? Anything you do for, like, fun? <laughs> oh, that should be an interesting getting. answer. I play in a band with a bunch of friends. <laughs> and oh my gosh. Are, what are you into? I surf, I play in a band. Um... I got my eyes on you. Are you, you up for it? Oh my gosh. No. I don't... I don't really know how. That's alright. I don't really know how to either, so... Oh my... <laughs> Illusion of choice. You're refusing it. It still forces it. They took a page from Telltale Games. Darn them! Watch those hands, pal. You know, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but... I am really, really hoping this music doesn't get a hit with a copyright. I'm gonna be really upset if it does. You're not so bad looking yourself. Oh my gosh, Jody. You're not like other girls. I mean, there's, there's something special about you. Look at you, you smooth talker. I guess you can say that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah. Move hands. Nope, move away. Nope. I tried to slick. Dance, Matt, but I, I think I'll pass. Good job, Jody. Look at him, he's like so shocked. Guys, guys. Why doesn't Jody give us a demonstration of her super mega powers? Excuse me? No, great no, idea. No, I, I'd pay to see that. Ugh, forget it. It's just what? a little bowl. Yeah, come on, Jody. Show us what you can do. Okay, Jody. You up for demonstration? You know what? Sure. All right, then. So. <laughs> All right, then. You asked for it. Just be quiet and don't move. Oh, I'm just gonna get already. Whoops. I just want my pants. <laughs> Shut up, Steven. Let's see. Oh, da, 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 da. oh, I can only mess with them? Alright, fine. Let's mess with the birthday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aiden, they're waiting. 
I know, I know. Just give me a second. Let's mess with the birthday girl. Freezing. What's happening? Enough super mega powers for you? There's still they Please still want them. more? We're not gonna wait all day, are we? How about that? Is that good enough for you? Okay, I've had enough. Yeah, me too. Uh, that that was really scary. I didn't mean to, to frighten anyone. S sorry, I... You know, you guys insisted and... Right, okay guys, it's time to eat that delicious cake and most important to open my birthday gifts. You know what, that's... That's a good way to kind of relieve the tension of that moment. Actually, the cake can wait. Oof. I'm opening my gifts first. That got a little awkward there. Love, Jen, XXX. Oh, that's nice, babe. I bet it's knee socks. A thong! Just exactly what I needed! Oh, now you can gosh. stop seeing your moms. <laughs> and improve your chances of finding a decent boyfriend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my future lover wants to thank you for making his life more interesting. Wow. Jody, why are you here? Oh, she's gonna hate this gift. What is that? And it's called a book. book. It smells funky. <laughs> It's a really rare collection of uh, poems by Edgar Allan Poe. She's not gonna get it, Jody. Come on, who? What? Did yeah, you see, she doesn't even know who that is. Grandpa's library? <laughs> no, no uh, it's really rare. Yeah, just like your dress. Silly woman. <laughs> oh, wow. That was not no, necessary. Is this a joke? Taking I can't believe you came all over my birthday party just to give me this old crap. And she thinks she's so clever. But she's just a little lab rat. A freaky little lab rat. Yeah. She's been following me around like a puppy will eat Now this Begging is for. just weird. Oh. This just takes a turn a for the weird. Too. I never wanted to invite her. My mom made me. Yeah, she's a slut. A slut and a witch. Wow! We should, like, do something to her. What do you do with witches? You burn them. Ah! Get her! <laughs> <laughs> The darkness. Bring forth your mighty power. <laughs> please, please let me One out. The first moment I saw I'm her. begging you, please <laughs> let me out. Please. Someone say cake. Please, what I want to get out. Please, I want to get out. I'm begging yeah, you, please let me out. out. <laughs> Wow. Can I just say how weird that whole sequence became? It just all of a sudden just turned. Just like in such a weird way. Get me out of here. Please. You got it. Poor Jody. Ooh. Uh. You know what? They're not even worth it. Those punks are just not even worth it. Let's just leave, Jody. Let's just go. Oh, and trust me, I could unleash Aiden on them, and he would just scare them to, like, to no end. 
but then they would turn it all on Jody. Didn't get drunk, pushed Matt away, left the house, left the house early, showed your powers, a couple more undiscovered paths. Possibly because I left the house early, but... I forgot about this percentage thing. Kinda, again, taking a page from Telltale Games, I guess. The first interview. This is like the earliest. Oh, look at Jody! Look at little Jody! Look how cute you are! Stop it, Aiden. It's your fault we're in trouble. So what? What'd I do? What did I do? Either I was just looking around. See, th there's this little dot over here. What's this? What's that over there? Nice to meet you. Come on, Sorry. Up. Sorry, Jody. I was just looking around. All right. Hello, Jody. Hello, Come Peter. And I mean Jody. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's just too many opportunities here to, to joke about him being Nathan Green Rockers. Goblin. I thought it would be a good idea for us to have a little chat, get to know each other a little better. That is, if it's okay with you, of course. So this is how they first met. What is this? OPA, the National Defense Laboratory, Nathan Dawkins. Oh, the DPA. I thought that, that was an O. Huh. What, Defense Protection Agency or something like that? Possession and Hysteria Clinical Study. Ghost on the Side of the Road. The Haunted... Haunted house in Oak Forest Park. The Haunted Orphanage. So he studies a lot of, I guess, paranormal stuff or reportings in the area. I guess that's what his his uh, department works on. Whoa! Sorry. Aww. I get, that must be his wife and daughter. Alright, enough looking around his eye. Let's look around as Jody. I go, a book. Books. To be honest, I haven't read them all. How about you? You like to read? She's just looking around, messing with this stuff, just not even talking or anything. Just, ooh, I'm going to look at everything. A couple of diplomas, Doctor of Physics. Univer oh, wait, hold on. Let me look at those as items. University of Camden, a degree of Doctor of Physics. And research into parapsychology. You can sit down if you like. The degree of Doctor of Psychology. University of Red Arc. Wait, so we got two of those at Camden. Doctor of Psychology. So he's got three doctorates here. Two of them from Camden. Nothing over here she can look at? No. Snow globe. You like it? You can have it if you want. She just wanted to look at it. Oh. That's a... Uh photo of a paranormal event I studied. That table moved five millimeters in three days on its own. We filmed it and sped up the images so we could see the movement. Interesting. Interesting, huh? That's what I said. 
So perhaps there's other stuff in this world that's uh, similar to Aiden, maybe? That's my wife, Helen, and my daughter, Laura. My oh, daughter's about your age. All right, let's sit. Jody, my job is to study strange events and then try to explain them. Mm-hmm. Like the things that happen around you, right, Jody? <laughs> um, yes. It's like, I'm Nobody following you. me you have an invisible friend. Uh, you could say that. This friend, has he been with you a long time? Mm, yeah. Since you were born? Uh, I'm gonna shrug at that one because how would she know? Is he a ghost? Uh, or a spirit of someone who passed away? Uh, that uh, we don't really know. Can you... We don't really know what he is. Me? I'm going to say yes because I want her to actually try and do this because maybe we can get some kind of visual image. Oh, look at her. The scratches on her arms. Why is she all scratched up? You guys see that on her arm there? Look at her arm there. Look at that scratch. Ow. Huh. Mind if I take a look? No, go ahead. Oh, this thing is your friend, and he's connected to you with some kind of cord. Yeah, pretty much. Is he here right now? Yeah, I'm here. Can you tell him to do something? All right, let's see. What can I do? Can I use this to be like, hi, doctor, I'm here. You tell him what to do, and it happens. No, I just did it. Just cause. I don't tell I didn't what to do. No one does. He's like a lion in a cage. We're tied together. He can't go away. That makes him really angry. It's not my fault. I want him to leave too. It can be really scary sometimes. Did, did he do that to you? No. That was the monster. The what? Oh, there is much more to this than we realize. What does she mean by that? First interview. You and Persona players have taken these paths. Either drew Aiden or... and showed Aiden's powers. <laughs> I mean, why not? But hey, that, that's what lends to the replayability. Alright, next chapter. Welcome to the CIA. Takes place before the embassy. So I guess we're gonna get to see that this apparently led her to joining the CIA. The question I wanna know is, did he join did she join of her own free will or was she forced into this? Now, oh, there's that guy that from the embassy. What was his name? Ryan? It's your room. This is where you'll study and sleep for the next three years. Training starts huh. tomorrow at 5 a.m. Don't be late. Well, 5 a.m.? 
Wow. Okay then. <laughs> Hit the bed, Jody. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> Three years, huh? Oh, oh, here we go. Training. Here we go. We got this. We got this, Jody. Come on, Okay, move it up. And she's moving forward. I see. This is kind of like a tutorial for another certain game mechanic. Move it down. I get it. Find your grip. Use your momentum to swing across. Hurry! I'm working on it. That's it, Holmes. Come on. I haven't got all day. I can tell. When the action is in slow motion, follow Jody's movement direction to finish her move. Yeah, I was doing that game. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, not bad. the next cover. Got it? Sure. Look at her, all all decked out with equipment. Whoa. Whoa, why did she, she all of a sudden go way over there? Come on! Get out of there! Ah, that's a cool mechanic. You just go there and it'll go right to the where the next cover. Oh, and I get to choose my cover. Oh, okay. having to take tests. Oh, gosh. I would be like, nope. <laughs> Good on you, Jody, for having to learn all this. Good for you, though. Excellent, Jody. Okay, recruit. Now get rid of those oil drums. Huh. Great. for her and Ivan. Interesting. But then again, I'm sure that's a reason why she's there. <coughs> Towards where she's going. Ah! I couldn't tell where she was moving. Ah! I see. It's hard to tell what direction her arms are going. See, her arms were going down, not right. That's what threw me off. Nice. 
Keep your fat ass down! <laughs> Keep up! I'm working on it. We got this, we got this. Move it, recruit! It's not a fucking Sunday stroll! Sure that hurts. Ow. Oh, wait. I didn't can heal wounds? That's awesome. I didn't can heal Jody's wounds. It's kind of tricky getting both orbs to just kind of stay there. There we go. There we go. That's an awesome power he's got. Come on, Joey. Come on. You can do it. I guess we're going through all three years of her training. Oh, boy. Oh, nice. better than a not bad. That was pretty good. <laughs> she is exhausted. That kind of training, I'm not surprised. Ooh, here we go. This seems like a pretty tough test. soldiers. Oh, take down. Oh. I didn't know I could, there was a take down uh, button there. Okay, nice. Use Iden to actually scout. Alright, there is no soldier right here. Oh, but there's a soldier right here, though. So if I move her up, this guy could come over here and see her. He may turn back now. Or is he just going to stay there? Nope, he turned back. I have to try and distract him again. that takedown before he turned around and saw us. Alright. 
Alright, let's see. Is there anything I can do over here? Ah, oh, I can distract this guy. I can also use this to distract him. I had to remember which button had him ascend. I just knocked him out. See, he's still alive. I just knocked him unconscious, that's all. He's okay. Bad, Joey. Oh. If this wasn't an exercise, you'd be dead by now. If this wasn't an exercise, you wouldn't even be able to open your big mouth, Ryan. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Holmes. You made it. Welcome to the agency. Huh. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Jody. Welcome to the agency. Hey, looks like you Great made job, it, Jody. Congratulations. I'm not sure that she was all that happy about, or rather, he wasn't too happy about it. Perfect soldier. I pulled that off. In good physical shape. Oh, fight apprentice. Not spotted during training. Stealth apprentice. Ooh, I'm getting several trophies here. Tremendous fighter. Huh. I guess you can fail all those. But like, what does that affect though? Hunted. This takes place after the MC and before Broken, which was like the intro. Chilling outside the train. Okay, so Jody and I are on some train for some reason, and I guess I'm gonna try and wake her up when we come back. Stay tuned. <laughs> 